Anytime when a laser has been dropped or before starting a new job site, it is recommended to perform a field calibration check. This check only takes a few minutes and avoids any risk of rework. Before starting the calibration check, let the laser run for 15 minutes to warm up the leveling system. Set up the tripod 100 feet or 30 meters from a wall, making sure the tripod head is leveled using a carpenter's level. The laser is now pointing in the direction of the plus Y axis. Using an HL receiver, press the dead band and power button simultaneously to turn it on in calibration mode. 1 64th inch, 0 0.01 millimeters. Gradually raise or lower the receiver until you get an on grade reading for the plus Y axis. Using the flat surface on the top of the receiver, make a mark on the wall. Rotate the laser 180 degrees minus Y axis toward the wall and allow it to re-level. Raise or lower the receiver until you get an on grade reading for the minus Y axis and make a second mark on the wall. The distance between the two marks, Y1 and Y2, determines the calibration error. If they differ more than the published accuracy for this laser, 1 8 of an inch or 3 millimeters for the LL300S, the laser needs calibrating on the Y axis. After checking the Y axis, rotate the laser 90 degrees and the plus X axis is facing the wall. Raise or lower the receiver until you get an on-grade reading for the plus X axis and make a third mark on the wall. Once you've made the mark for the plus X axis, rotate the laser again 180 degrees, minus X axis toward the wall. Allow the laser to re-level and make the next mark at the wall. Check the difference between the two x-axis marks. If they differ more than the published accuracy for this laser, 1 8 of an inch or 3 millimeters for the LL300S, the laser needs calibrating on the x-axis.